I think most people know that the Virginia Military Institute is a state school. It offers a program that is very helpful to, to its students. Not that they all became soldiers, only about 15% of the MI graduates go into the military. But they had kind of an old boys network where people who had positions in business and commerce uh, would, would help the graduates of BMI along their way. But Virginia didn't offer anything like that for the women. And the interesting thing about BMI is that the plaintiff was the United States of America. Not too many years before, there had been litigation against the United States for excluding women from West Point, from Annapolis, from Air Force Academy. Those were cases litigated on behalf of women who wanted to go to those schools. Uh, not too long into the litigation, the government decided it would rather switch the fight and opened up the military academies to women. And by the time we left the EMI, it was the United States on behalf of the women who were ready and able to, to go to EMI. Some people ask me why. Uh, why would women want to go to EMI and get that kind of uh, very rigorous military training? I said, well, I wouldn't want to. Perhaps you wouldn't want to. Perhaps the gentleman over there wouldn't want to. But there are some women who want to and have everything it takes, all qualifications to succeed. Why shouldn't they have that opportunity? So that was the BMI case, and it, it resulted in a, a seven to one judgment. Only one dissenter. Justice Cleo was the soul. <laughs>